Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Uh, it is. Something smells at Disney. Something new is smelling at Disney. Tell, tell me about the smell okay. offense. I had to do a story today on Pirates and Princesses. And I, I didn't even, you know, at this point in time, I don't even give a shit anymore. I just <laughs> went all, I don't even care. I just like call it like it was because this is so stupid. I don't even have words. So the smell of fins. Remember we mentioned they were going to do a scavenger hunt, a search and sniff of thing at the Storybook Circus area of Magic Kingdom. Yes. They're calling it smell of fins on parade. It's supposed to be sponsored by Sensi. So basically Disney wanted corporate sponsorship money. So they threw this shit together. They're shoving it into Magic Kingdom and they're probably going to be able to like, look, look, guys, we're doing something to compete with Epic Universe coming. <laughs> yeah, um, no, that's not going to that's not going to cut you know, it. You I'm, wanna, I'm just saying you want an e-ticket attraction. We're going to give you this one. When people said they wanted new attractions, I don't think this is what they met no uh and that's the thing i know disney lately they they don't say rides they don't say they they say attraction so historically attractions were rides they were ride throughs they were now everything a meet and greet is an attraction and there's been a lot of those and that's uh, there oh well, look we're doing something yeah a, a new restaurant is an attraction basically they've expanded attraction to mean anything that potentially attracts guests to spend money at the park. But it's it's like, look, when you talk to a, a lay person, to them attraction means ride. Right. We want a ride, we want a new ride. So we're gonna we're gonna show you a, we're gonna, we got a look now at the first smell offense. So we're gonna talk about that before we get into any further. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh yeah, so these um God, this is really underwhelming. I saw the picture and I, I, I guess I thought they would put some effort into it and the elephant would actually be textured like popcorn. No, no, no. It, it's a, they're just like these stupid uh, pink elephants that they're probably just going to repaint each one to represent, you know, the treat. This one, you know what this looks like? It's supposed to be popcorn. But have you ever seen those vomit pieces that they oh, had in the 70s? They were like, they call them that. They, they, they had like these glass shapes and you'd stick like stuff in it, like, like vegetables or nasty things. And the most common one you'd see was the vomit clocks. I have never seen one of those. I don't Yeah, think. you'd stick like they were, you'd stick stuff in it. Like they're nasty AF. And that's what these, like here's some, some look like they have teeth, that they like different stuff in it. And it looks it's like It's just a bunch vomit. of like rocks and God, yeah. this looks like something your kid would have like made. It's like big body parts, like toy body parts. Some of them look like they have got corn or vegetables or crap I have in never, it. Because honestly, if I had seen something like this at an antique store or whatever, I would have actively avoided it. Well, okay. So there's, okay, look at this one, for example. There's that vomit clock. Now, now look at the smell of it. <laughs> oh my God. That's what it reminds me of. See, I thought, I guess I was thinking like, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking they were going to put some effort into it. So Stupid where does, me. Where does the scent come out? Does it come out these little vents down here? I mean, it, it, that's what I'm wondering. No, I think they're it's these like little scent, vents. They're like, they pipe in. So Disney actually does pipe in artificial scents all over the park, uh, all over the parks and the hotels. You go to certain hotels and they have certain scents, certain attractions have certain scents. And a lot of those are actually piped in. And you can find the, like the, the scent ports, but like the bakery on main street, because they don't actually make anything there. They actually pipe in the, the baked good smell to but, try to get you to, to buy baked yeah, So I yeah. guarantee you, I think they're going to be eight of these things. They're going to probably pump in the scents for each of those and put it in like a store, like a little snack thing where you can buy, Oh, you can get popcorn and, Cotton candy or whatever, because they figure you're going to want it then because you smell it. Um, obviously, if you have a if you have a sensitivity to smells, stay out of this area, stay out of the parks in general. Um, so yeah, they wanted a sponsorship with Sensi, and they thought this was a great idea. Let's go this way. So yeah, if you find it's like a they calling it search and sniff. So I'm assuming these little vents here might be where it's coming out of. Yeah. So you're going to find it, and then you're going to be able to smell it. Are they going? Is it going to be like the skunk smell? It's just going to like poof you with. Popcorn I smell. don't know, but the skunk smell is going to stay at, at Epcot. I, I'm sure with figment. Here's what they're they're calling people who participate with sniffiants with, with with no, I'm sorry, with sis with assistance with assistance. I can't even say the word with assistance. You're in a with assistant. What the? F How, what? I mean, they had meetings, guys, to come up with this. What? So here's what here's here's okay. how here's how it's going to okay. work. 
When you enter the storybook circus area, you're going to stumble upon a casting call posted by Timothy Q. Mouse seeking out with assistance to join Dumbo's newest act. At the ticket booth in front of Big Top Souvenirs, a cast member will provide guests with an illustrated map of the land and a sticker sheet to guide them in their task as a with assistant. And the task is simple. Find all eight Smellifant statues scattered around Storybook Circus using the stickers and map to track the progress. So it's kind of like the ones they do at, at World Showcase, like they, the figment, that the master, brush of the masters and different scavenger hunts. But now you have to go smell things. Um, at, at Disney, which there's a lot of sense you don't want to smell at Disney. Cu couple of things. Couple, couple of things here. Um, Let's teach kids how to huff the park. Oh my god! Uh, and that that place is already kind of scuzzy because all the kids are running around without shoes and shorts, and they're getting all soaked in the fountain. Oh, and the, and the, yeah. yeah. The... Um, so uh, yeah, you do realize that Timothy Mouse was drunk off his ass when he saw the elephants in Dumbo, like mm -hmm. he was intoxicated so do you give kids like a little little like one of those little you know two dollar bottles of booze and say I don't know. Well, I mean, Disney, no, so no, it's no. like a twelve dollar no bottle i mentioned that i said if you want to smell if you want to you have pink elephants you need to go out to uh epcot and find the people that are you know doing the the, the tour that the drinking around the world oh my god then they definitely would have been a, a vomit statue because somebody would have puked all over it there's probably another set that's coming. I mean, I was like, who thought this was a good idea? If someone came to me and said, hey, I wanna, I'm Sensi and I want to do a, a, an attraction at the parks. That smells. This would not be it. This is, yeah. Let's teach kids how. Remember they stopped letting us use Mr. Um, was it Mr. Sketch Markers? Oh, yeah. They, yeah. they took them away from kids because they said the kids were huffing them and they, they didn't want kids to learn to huff things. They were. So now you're just going to go there and teach kids to huff at Disney? Well, I mean, tragically... Uh, and I think I talked about this before. There was there was a kid I went to school with who actually did die from huffing. He huffed a uh, aerosol can, and he was in like the eighth grade. And uh, he used to ride my bus. But yeah, um, they did. They were they, well. Actually, I think it was more like the kids would come home with like marker marker stains all over their nostrils and their face. Because I, I would we all see, did it. We all had the no, the marker for our nose. The Mr. grape Sketch. ones. The grape ones were the best. Every day it was art class and you got the Mr. Sketch markers. I was like, hot damn, man. You know, yeah, yeah. I had all those. I got home. I had a, you know, I was smelling the rainbow. It went home and my nose probably looked oh, like I that was. Is a, that is, that is definitely. Not current year. That means something else now. Uh, yeah. It does. You're seeing yeah, a in the rainbow, something else. Scratch and stiff uh, stickers. Yeah. We used to get those if we get like an A on our test. It'd give us like, you know, oh, look, it's freshly cut lawn or stinky boot. Yeah. We used to collect the stickers. I mean, they had better sense than that. You you would only give those to the people you hated. We had skunk. We had stinky boot. We had like candy, and uh, I can God, I can still see the art. I think they still sell those. They might. I need to get some. So yeah, hot damn guys! Um, you can go down to to uh, see at the storybook circus that there is one of the elephants there, and it looks like uh, a vomit clock. Vomit. Um, supposed to be popcorn. You know, what's so weird is I remember they put that they put the double Dumbo's in because Dumbo used to be Dumbo used to be so popular you could never get on Dumbo. You'd have to wait in line forever when they just had one Dumbo. And then they put double Dumbo's in and they built the storybook circus around the double Dumbo's and they moved Dumbo out of it was in Fantasyland because it was tying up traffic or whatever. And then nobody wrote it. Like Dumbo's pretty much or was a walk on. I know when it first opened, they put that whole play pavilion in there mm -hmm. because they thought people were going to be waiting in line for like an hour to get on freaking Dumbo and nobody was writing it. Cause it's off the beaten path. Yeah. That's not as popular as it used to be, but they did, they did mention those with sensitive sniffers are still welcome because you know, they're spread out enough that you won't be overwhelmed with the, the scents. Okay. Well, you I get close to sniff it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. If one of these smells like hot dogs or meat or something, some, some vegan. It's going to puke. Is, no, I think they're going to be all like candy related. And they're they're going to complain. They're going to be like, you made me smell meat. You made me, you made my kids smell meat. Now they want a hot dog and they haven't had a hot dog in four years. Cause <laughs> we're a vegan. Hot dog real bad hot dog real bad <laughs> i can't do that they can't do the jennifer Coolidge. if my kids were here they can totally do it <laughs> um so they said the scents are going to be like well there's gonna be churro and cotton candy are coming and then we have popcorn so they'll probably do like what like mickey ice cream bar what other scents do they have uh, please don't be meat based that'd be just nasty oh i don't God. know flowers uh, maybe uh, orange uh citrus swirl or or dole whip probably. no because that's like crossing your brand 
you know, you have I to don't know. Whatever, whatever sense, sense he could do, apparently. Ass. No, that's, you don't need a sensey scent for that. You just walk around the park. Piss. B.O., dirty diaper. Um, <laughs> dirty diaper. Oh, God, you could make it smell like different uh, personalities at the circus. This one smells like the fat lady. Well, this, one, this one smells like an alcoholic clown. I don't think that's what they're going to do. So hot damn, guys. And it's going to open. They're going to all be up that you can go ahead and do the, that. They're going to run the census stuff starting next month. So okay. you only have a month. That we only, we, we're, I'm sure each day, every wait. week, we'll find out which new new elephants are going to arrive. Um, can you smell the elephant? <laughs> apparently you can. So that's the first thing we're going to talk about. I, I Okay. Anyway, the other thing uh, we're going to mention is also, well, probably coming in June. I'm get, We're guessing it's probably going to be June is Tiana's Bayou Adventure. If they think it's going to open in June. It looks like Snake Mountain now. What did they do? <laughs> I, don't I don't. Wasn't it supposed to have a tree on top of it? Oh, they took it off a long time ago. Why? Because it looked too much like Splash Mountain. No, it's probably because it was expensive or heavy or some other reason. It just it looks like it looks like Snake Mountain. Like there's the eyes in the mouth and it's just going to like. Spit you out. There's fangs. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty sure if I, I wrote this article yesterday, I put this up like yesterday early. I think we're going to probably see it opening in June. A couple reasons. Uh, the media event is scheduled apparently for 9th to the 11th of June. And they usually do that pretty close to the opening. Sometimes they'll even have soft openings around the media event. But I don't think we're getting an official opening till later, but June 9th through 11th is a media. I also know that they're opening other things like the Communicore um, Hall. They're opening that right. on the 10th. So they're probably going to have, you know, the different people from the different blogs and the media over there too for different things. They like to combine stuff. Like if they can get you there for two or three days, it's usually each day you go to different things. That You've is done true. this. Yeah, they give you an itinerary. And it's, it's grueling, man. I'm like, I'm not even kidding. Like people are like, ah, oh, it's Disney. I'm like, no, it is literally like... You're on the damn bus at like 630. You're someplace and you are all damn day and night. Like I remember the one day I did the one media thing and they were. Yeah, it was like all their new offerings. They got us on the bus at 630. We didn't get back to the hotel room till like 11 o'clock at well, night. Oh, yeah, because didn't you go to like the fireworks show the at night, the end? The yeah. Basically all the new stuff that we have, we want you to review it. So you're going to do everything. Uh, I did get like an hour of downtime that they they gave us like unlimited fast passes and I was just messing with the the Pandora people because back then you couldn't get fast pass it was hard to get a fast pass for uh, flight of passage because it just opened like the year before and I just had, I could go on as much as I want I just kept getting on and coming back and coming back and I'd scan the band and they're looking at me like what witchcraft is this and I'd be <laughs> like hey guys I'm back again here we go because they would put it on your band right mm -hmm. and. Uh, and I had my own band. I didn't have that. They've like gave us all bands or whatever for, but I just had it put on my, my regular band. I was just walking along. Do, do, do up. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm going to ride again, ride again. The guy was like, give me death stares. He's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you were loud. I'm like, I wrote it five times in a row, dude. I don't know. Um, so yeah, this, this is normal. Like the, 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 having the media event, having it two or three days and doing this. So, since they're doing the media event, then it's going to likely be after the media event. So um, they're also saying it was going to be the beginning of they're going to summer. Summer, the first day of summer is June twentieth. Um, most likely, and I've heard this from a couple of places, is that they're they're thinking they might open it for Juneteenth, which is the nineteenth, which falls right in where I was saying. I don't know if that's true or not. I, what I do know is it's probably going to be in June, given the other dates that's going on. Around well, it. I mean, look, that actually. It makes sense. It sounds like something Disney would do. That's that. OK, so, yeah, it does make sense. It does sound like something Disney would do, especially given all the, the controversy around Splash Mountain and all that. But it is, isn't that kind of insulting? Like all the we're going to open the, uh, for lack of a better term, the African-American ride on on uh, Juneteenth, and then also the uh, Black Captain America. Yeah, it's going to come out in February. I was going to say they missed Black History Month, so... Um, well, no, that's Black Captain America. No, I know. I mean, for this one. But I'm just saying, like, isn't that, like, what... Like, you're just turning into, like, a marketing thing, right? Yeah, basically. Like, well, you, seriously. Since, where, where have you been? They use everybody's identity as a marketing <laughs> thing. I mean, June, it's like rainbows everywhere. And it's not because they, they give a crap. It's because no, they no, want to make the cash I'll, in. Yeah, well. And they'll I, give some money to some project to make it look like they're doing something for it. But in reality, it's just them cashing in. Yeah, and stuff winds up at the clearance at the character 
warehouse, yeah. warehouse or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, it's likely going to be then. Um, I I, ba- I was basing what I was I was thinking around the time because they said summer and summer starts on the twentieth, and then because I knew the media was going to be the ninth or eleventh, so that's where I got mine from. And then I saw people uh, mentioning um, yesterday on the different boards I'm on about they think they watch them open it on Juneteenth, and I'm like that kind of falls in there. So yeah, that probably is what they're going to do. Yeah, and then they'll put um, out a big press release, and then they will um, they'll invite. I, I can almost guarantee you they're going to invite. Uh, Predominantly black influencers oh, to come down are, to yes. The first person, the first people to ride that are going to be riding it that aren't like you know like that they're Disney people are the family of the woman they based Tiana on. So I think that's actually appropriate. That's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah. So this Leah Chase was the former owner operator of is it Dookie Chases? I don't know. It's oh, apparently okay. a big big deal. Never been. Um, but they based. Tiana on her. Oh, that's okay? interesting. I did. I actually did not know that. No, yeah, they based Tiana it on, based on her. her, and then um, now she passed away in 2019. But her family is gonna is gonna be there, and they're going to put them on the attraction first. So, which I think is I think is cool. I think that's actually yeah. Really no, thing. I think that's that's actually very cool. It's pro- and look, I want to be clear. Like I, I'm kind of on the fence about the. Like I'm a cynic, so I know I know Disney how they do things. Like this wasn't really about like well we're trying to erase racism with, with Song of the South. It's like no 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 no. Princess merchandise sells better. Let's you know. Well, they already like, got merchandise for all the new animal yeah. characters on this. They have tons of new animal characters, and they're already merching it. They already have pictures of the plushies. Yeah, and they're Tiana is popular. Stores, I mean, she's you know. she's a popular character. I think she's actually, uh, I think she's more popular as a Disney princess than the movie actually what you know what i'm saying because yeah. the movie kind of and i felt bad because the movie i actually thought was pretty good but it uh it you know it was 2d animation and they were phasing that out and i think a lot of people didn't go see it because it was 2d they're like it looks old-fashioned i'm like man I'm i kill think for the a new- villain seems awfully scary to people oh i loved him though i know i do too but i'm just saying Dr. i think Fasoli, he was the best part of the movie that a lot of people didn't great. take their kids because they were afraid he would freak them out but our daughter loved it is, is that, our favorite princess is that could be the drop like you're, he's gonna no, drop I don't know. It's not. Side? People said that it should have been. Oh, that would have been amazing. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know yet. But like the, many go people side. have said that. But from my understanding, is it's not. Uh, and it would have been great. But from my understanding, because this is supposed to be in the future. Like she has her own restaurant and stuff. He's not there anymore. Uh, well, it could be like his his soul coming back. I mean, I think it's a lost up. If, the if they side. don't do that, it's a complete missed opportunity. But from yeah. my understanding, I don't think that's what they're doing. They're probably gonna make it. That, now that actually is going to irk me because the the thing about the build up to the drop is they made it scary. It was legitimately well, we don't know. It may, may, I mean, they have a bunch of it's obviously Mama Odie because they have a bunch of her bottles and stuff hanging at the top. Um, Are you hallucinating? Did you drink too much of her potions? Or well, something? no, it's like hot sauce and stuff she sells, but. Or I'm owed. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying, I don't think that's what the way they're going. The way it sounds is, it, the one, they're focusing on the different musical genres that you find in New Orleans, for one. And it's about, like, her, it's about her food. Actually, I have the write-up of what the ride is. I said, join Princess Tiana and jazz-loving alligator Lewis on their journey through a shimmering bayou as they prepare for a spirited celebration during Mardi Gras. Well, spirited implies ghosts and stuff. Who knows? Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Along if the it's way, got you'll ghosts, see familiar cool. faces and make new friends as you're brought to the next chapter of Tiana's inspiring story. But so far, all the new friends are showing our animal, animal, they all different, all the different groups, all the different animals are in different types of bands. Yes, but I want, I want people to, to, to be scared too. The drop they build you up to the drop, and which isn't compared to Jurassic. But the, all, like all the all these flume rides do that. Jurassic Park does the same thing, and it's like, oh my god, you're gonna get eaten. You're gonna get eaten. Uh, they gotta do something scary. Can't be like, bye everybody, have a good journey. Remember not to be racist. Bye. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, <laughs> if you're gonna go down the fun slide now, we. I don't it's know. Like, no, this I, is spirited, so who knows? Maybe they're bringing him back. But that to me. That would have been that would have been the way to go. That's what everybody said, but they made it. They, they're setting it like in the future, so I don't know. I mean, the future for her, not the future. <laughs> I mean, like they're like, oh my god, the it's, future from the movie. Oh, somebody killed Ray the Firefly, and it's like the butterfly effect, and now the future is like freaking <laughs> be a much weird better ass ride. mutants, and <laughs> that would be that would be a much better ride. No, um, we have to we have to go back in time and stop uh, the death of Ray the Firefly from creating. Lightyear. We have to go back and restore the timeline. Because 
Ray died. Life. Disney got fucked. <laughs> yeah, Anyways, I know, right? <laughs> so we have to restore Disney to what it was. I wonder. I haven't seen that movie. You have to go back to save them so that Disney doesn't end up like they are now. And then when you come back to when you, you save them, you come back to the present. The Disney stocks at like five hundred dollars a share. <laughs> Rick and Morty go back in time. I don't. So. I don't know. It's much more fun. So anyway, there you go. Vomit glass, smell elephants, and oh, Tiana's geez. Bayou probably oh, open in June. Whatever. So have at it. Uh, Epic Universe coming next year. Brand new park. Lots they of new, kick their ass. Not lots of new stuff. Looks pretty amazing. And uh, you know, whatever. we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But hey, the villains might be coming. Maybe the villains are coming. That'll be fun. Villains would be great. They, they don't do villains. They're dumb. And they just, just make a tiny area for villains and then stick stuff like, you know, the the, the cars ride in there. That would be colossally stupid. Do, do a villain's dark ride and get the Dr. Facilier in there. Because that would be just, amazing. They need, villains is, I, I'm telling you, villains is the way they need to go. They need to put most of their effort into villains. Anyway, we're wrapping this up. We're wrapping it up. Wrap oh, you have to say like and subscribe, but I uh, threw me off. So you say it. You're at the other mic. Like You're and running. Subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Don't be racist.